education in the digital age. Social cultural identity is basically the feeling or sense of belonging in a group. These groups can be race, gender, religion or nationality and these are considered to be what forms part of a person's self-perception. Digital literacy practice is the way that ICT and the internet are used to create, evaluate, find and share different content. Our identity is shown by the way that we dress, speak and act. People occupy different or multiple identities in relation to the different discourse communication that we occupy. The example given was that we can be a parent in one context or a teacher in another and we can swap about these as we go through our lives. All the different literacy practices are associated with different domains of life such as home, community and classroom. Barton and Hamilton did several studies on how literacy practices work within everyday life. They also came up with the idea of ruling passions which explains how people's interests often dictate their literacy practices. Due to the technological advancement of the 21st century, a literate person is not just able to read and write, but will possess a range of qualities, a variety of literacies. New Literacy Studies looks at different parts of literacy to try and enhance the way that we communicate. Hall looks at the social cultural perspective on literacy. Literacy has been recognised as a social practice, something that people do in their every lives, in their homes, at work and at school. Barton and Hamilton did a study where researchers observed people taking part in literacy at home. Street has the idea of multiple literacies. Other researchers such as Scribner and Cole have looked at literacy practices in different domains. Street makes a distinction between autonomous and ideological models of literacy and his work also develops a distinction between literacy events and literacy practices. New literacy studies makes us aware of our learners in relation to their identities and it also recognises the fact that school is not the only domain in which literacy occurs. Without the appropriate mindset, people will approach digital literacy in inappropriate ways. People who have grown up around computers are more used to digital technology and new literacy, whereas people who have had the internet for just a small period of time are more used to literacy as a set of skills acquired. Overall, despite the fact that it could take someone a while to change their mindset, the benefits of new literacy studies are greater. These benefits such as teachers being able to tell the identity of their students through their writing is both short term positives for the teachers and the students. New technologies and new knowledge have been emerging into modern society which could be due to the developing trends of economic globalisation or the ever changing and improving use of technology. According to the national curriculum all pupils should be able to understand and apply the fundamental principles and concepts of computer science and analyse all problems in computational terms and have repeated practical experience of writing computer programmes in order to solve problems. Pupils should also be able to apply information technology or new and unfamiliar technologies analytically to solve problems and they are responsible, competent and confident creative uses of ICT. Learning ICT enhances communication and researching, as an increasing number of jobs rely on ICT. Children need skills to use their knowledge, to think critically, to collaborate and communicate, to solve problems, to create and continue to learn. The benefits of ICT requires digital literacy of all children for their full participation in society. This also links with neoliberalism. Looking at the functional approach to digital literacy, it's considered that it requires effective functioning of his group and community and also looks at economic purpose and development. This looks at the future of a society and the benefits for being more technologically advanced. Both teachers and students are using more technology but their academic achievements are not improving despite the improvement of the technology to help them with their work. Also, when using new technology in a lesson, teachers must first learn how to use the technology themselves and then decide whether or not it fits the curriculum or suits the class objectives. Overall, ICT is a help for students in the future as it provides a lot of lifelong skills and technology is ever changing, so there's always something new to learn. Despite the fact that at the present moment, digital literacy is not showing much short-term benefits for an individual other than gaining new skills as test scores are not improving. Created using Powtoon.